everyone, I'm Stacia Ertis and this is the Business Journal Daily Buzz for Tuesday, November 24th, 2009. Today's Business Journal Daily Buzz is brought to you by Columbiana Ford. Our top story, unemployment numbers just released for October indicate Trumbull County still ranks in the top 10 Ohio counties in jobless rates. Ohio's unemployment rate stood at 10.5 percent, up slightly from September. Mahoning County posted a 12 percent rate, with Youngstown at 14 percent. Trumbull County, 13.5 percent, holding steady from September, and Columbiana County at 12.7 percent. A new restaurant opens in Coitsville Township. We were there as the ribbon was cut for the new Isley's Busy Bee 2 restaurant on McCartney Road. Following the success of their first restaurant on South Avenue in Youngstown, owners Nick and Sahara Grillis opened the new restaurant on the Ohio-Pennsylvania line, featuring Isley's recipes and a family-friendly atmosphere. Get ready for a bigger and better Children's Center for Science and Technology. The center is moving to the historic McCrory's Department Store building on Central Federal Street, allowing for 12,000 square feet of exhibit space on the first and lower floors of the building. The center is currently located on East Boardman Street. We'll have a bigger, more fabulous space. I mean, it is, it is incredible. 20-foot high ceilings, totally wide open. We can build it out to exactly our specifications. The project is expected to cost $1.5 million with the Science Makes Sense Capital Campaign already underway and First National Bank providing a long-term low-rent lease for the new building. The center will go on hiatus December 5th and reopen at the new location next fall. This is a look at some of the $300,000 worth of inventory auctioned off from Frederick Dodge and Boardman this Tuesday. The dealership was forced to dissolve after Chrysler entered bankruptcy and terminated nearly 800 franchise agreements. The auction was held at the former Spartan Chevrolet building on Market Street. The economy grew at a slower pace than expected in the last quarter. The gross domestic product grew at 2.8 percent, down from the 3.5 percent growth rate estimated. Economists say the worst recession since the 1930s is likely over, but the economy's return to good health will take time. The H.J. Heinz Company, based in Pittsburgh, saw its profits fall, but sales improve in the second quarter. The maker of ketchup and Orida French fries reports second quarter earnings of 231.4 million dollars, or 73 cents a share. And Hewlett Packard reports its fourth quarter profit grew 14 percent. The world's largest maker of personal computers reported earnings of $2.4 billion or 99 cents a share. CNN Money reports the number of people shopping on Black Friday is expected to pick up more than 16 percent this year. According to a new survey, 57 million people said they would definitely head to the stores on the day after Thanksgiving. That's up from 49 million last year. The new executive director of the Western Reserve Port Authority says she's ready to take on emerging opportunities as the economy recovers. Congressman Tim Ryan introduced Roseanne DeLeon as the new executive director. DeLeon has a background in economic development in the Cleveland area. What we have here in Ohio, and especially in this area, is a great workforce, a very trained workforce. And when companies are looking, especially manufacturing, um, they're, they're, they want to know what kind of workers they have. And now the next great wave is going to be green manufacturing, green energy, green technology. We are not going to miss the green revolution that's coming to the United States of America. DeLeon will also oversee the foreign trade zone administered by the Port Authority. A new report released by the White House projects nearly 2 million Ohioans could get affordable coverage as a result of health insurance reform. The report, called Health Insurance Reform and Ohio, the Case for Change, indicates 942,000 Ohio residents could qualify for premium tax credits to help them purchase health coverage. 1.8 million senior citizens in Ohio would receive free medical care, and 325,000 seniors would have their brand name drug costs cut in half. For more on the report, click on the link on the story on our website, businessjournaldaily.com. And the Business Journal Daily Buzz continues in 15 seconds. Boardman Medical Supply is the right choice for home medical equipment. For the best selection of products and services, call Boardman Medical Supply, the right choice. Existing home sales are up in Ohio and across the country. 
Driven by first-time home buyers, existing home sales surged nationwide 10.1 percent in October. In Ohio, sales rose 3.6 percent, 7 percent higher than a year ago. Buzz business briefs now, beginning with General Motors. GM will present its restructuring plan for the Opal unit to the unions tomorrow. And the U.S. Federal Reserve is asking nine banks that were part of the stress tests conducted this year to submit plans to repay money injected under the TARP program. And finally, Antones is donating 2,300 Thanksgiving dinners to the needy. Ross and Chad Sean of Antones are partnering with the United Way to provide the meals on Thanksgiving, with some delivered to the elderly and those without transportation. And that's the Business Journal Daily Buzz for this Tuesday. I'm Stacia Ertis. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Isn't it time to buy a Ford? Come to Columbiana Ford, where we make driving affordable.